Dear brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Today I have come here to share some reflections on this day, 2nd of August, on the feast of the Porshunkla. Today I will reflect something about Porshunkla culture. Porshunkla forms the root of a Franciscan lifestyle, the mission and vision. So we have taken the theme, prophetic radicality of the Franciscans, as we are reflecting on this Porshunkla culture. If you look at this whole, uh, the pyramidal style of uh, Assisi city at the time of St. Francis, even now the city is in the same shape, we will find the topmost layer are the kings, then followed by just below that, uh, surrounded by the bishops and bishops court, cathedral, then just below that the feudal, uh, the warriors, the people, knights, and their families and their uh, their situations, their society, and then still further layer down, we have this feudal lords, the feudal lords, the landlords, and the last one is the serfs, the S E R F S, the the people who are working with the feudals. So at the end of it, there is a Assisian wall. This is how the city has been in uh, constructed and the society has been divided or based on this particular system. We will see what all things happened in Assisi at that time. So, the choosing of portion class uh, actually is very much connected to the Pope Francis idea of go to the periphery. And Francis went to the periphery, periphery Francis of Assisi and made that as the center of Franciscan life and mission and vision. In the 12th century Assisi, there's a huge structure in the triangle shape. You'll find the top is the king, the uh, Rocca Maggiore, and the bishops. Then I said the warriors, feudal, serfs, and the Assisian wall. The people who are outside the wall, that means they are not of use to this particular city. Who are these people? The poor, the petty thieves, or the lepers, because they are economically uh, of no use to the city, and they were all sent to the periphery. There were no people, not a people at all. And as you see in Porshinkala field, if you look a little more clearly, we will find this uh, wonderful uh, division, a uh, uh, very, very uh, disturbing division. Economically speaking, the rich and the poor, the stage of rich people just below the poor people. Then these people are rich, below are still poor people. So one thing. Politically, they are divided into powerful and the powerless people, a lot of violence, fighting with the neighbors, waging war with the neighboring cities. This has been a language of fighting violence has been the common thing. You'll find France is taking just the opposite of whatever is found in Assisi. Cultural is high class and low class, divisive mentality in the people. Social discrimination was very high because of the feudal system, the feudals and the serfs. So discrimination was part and parcel of the city life. We'll find here at the outside of the city, Francis went, went and the, when he went and he saw these people, lepers, the rejected people, the ostracized people, the marginalized people sitting all around alone, complete with another culture. So you'll find this one of the old type, oldest uh, paintings at the time of Assisi, soon after uh, Francis. And you'll find the city wall, and below this one side, there's San Damiano. The far away is uh, the Porshingola, that's in the land side. But still further, it is it's not so close as in the picture, but they have covered the whole thing in the picture. So the culture of Assisi and Porshingola, this is what I want to uh, focus today for our reflection. So the idea is, this, uh, what we want is, that what, what Francis did when by choosing Porshunkla. And what is the thing he, uh, he went away from Assisi when he was speaking about the Porshunkla. What is the temptation of Assisi? So they all were looking for money, comfort, prestige, position, power, success, all these things. But on the other side, there is a life amidst the discomfort of the poor people, the people outside. The pushing will find people living with the discomforts because the poor people without food, without proper shelter, without proper clothing, all these things. And materialism was the highest in Assisian situations. Those who got money and power and they were longing for this materialism. But people outside the periphery, they have no right over the people don't have any right. So 
this is a uh, and the well, then the people in SEC they were looking each one looking for their own status their own background their own profile their own future everything nobody bothered about other people whereas in the in the pursuing class you'll find France is giving a uh, another type of thinking of others thinking of the needy thinking of those people who are forgotten who are left away from the society then you'll find the domination of compartmentalization the compartment the whole society was based on compartmentalization but whereas francis uh, brings in the order with the people in the uh, persian class the friars the unity working for unity working for peace and here you'll find the individualism very high in the assisian mindset the individual is individual i my family myself Um, but whereas in in Persian class, you'll find a culture of altruism, thinking of the other, living for the other, concern for the whole universe, universality, all these things. So and when you find still the what are the distinction between Assisi and Persian class? There is a I and they mentality. They are like this, and I am better. They are like that, and our people are uh, our family is better. But whereas Persian class, he brought Francis and his brothers brought about. the inclusive mentality no exclusivism but rather inclusive we mindset we are all brothers the brothers brought a equality equality there's no high and low but all equality there is uh, in the in the as another point in assis you'll find there is no growth of mindset they were all stable they were stagnant with what they felt that is their only lifestyle but where is the there will find a lot of a constant evolution uh, and uh, the yeah, in the mindset of the friars they were always believing in the trusting in the people society providence of god and as you find in assis there's high and low society but uh, the uh, filled with discrimination but where is in assis or where is in persian kula francis and his brothers lived in equity equality the last becoming the first importance is given to them you will find in assis a pyramidal system but there is in find oceanic circle brothers all are equal all are given important democracy all these things are brought the as a culture of persian kula you will find in assis a blaming culture the higher one blaming the lower ones always they put down other people whereas there is a volunteer life with the poor volunteer life for the poor living as poor and living in altruism is the culture of persian we'll also find in assis the institutional levels the institutional structural things that shouldn't be that's kept up as is important it's more important than the persons so they are structure of a feudal system or uh, warrior or religious leaders or kingly royalty they will never change their character they will keep as it is Well, people are not important. The society is not important. Where Persian class, they spoke about the people, persons, individual persons, especially those people who are considered rejected ones. They were given importance. There's no institution, but everything based on society and welfare, welfare society. And the Assisian culture was connected to violence, divisive mentality. Division makes the situation worse, leading to violence. So in the everyday man's mindset, you will find this. Whereas the uh, the Persian were brought peace and unity. Here, this money is valued. A new entry of money. Where here they they the Francis and brothers told freedom from mammon. Then here there's no place for the poor in ICC. Whereas the poor make the core of their life in Persian class. Poor become the first. And here in ICC there is a possession, name and fame. They are given, but here they wanted to dispossess themselves. bring it sell it give it to the poor come as nobody i am nobody i am just a new person i am equal to every one of us so that's a persian class mentality so the culture of francis and the franciscan you will find uh, a clear this clear model of choice of persian class is rejection of assis very often we want to combine both assis and lifestyle we also should have we should have always structure we should always have money power position for uh, everything at the same time let us also name ourselves as a people of french persian class no we as franciscans we are called to comfort the disturbed disturb the comfort that's a prophetic thing because when they were told that you are nobody you rim outside among the lepers among the thieves there they found the equality respect for each other so the when assisi rejected the people like lepers and thieves and the poor people 
these poor people who are Franciscans now, they rejected the Assyrian mentality, Assyrian lifestyle, Assyrian culture. So therefore, it's a prophetic witness. The very system, the very presence of Persian lovers, an irritation to the eyes of the Assyrian. The Assyrian. The Francis and his followers, they created a counter witness. This counter witness is gospel witness to the worldly life of Assisi. Every Franciscan is called to enter into this mystery behind Persian Claude today. This is a message for our, uh, the Persian Claude day today, August 2nd. And what is the in Persian Claude, we have begun a spirituality in response to the signs of the times of that day. Francis and Franciscans and Claire, all these people brought, brought a new, new value system. This particular situation of reading the signs of the time, responding to the uh, need of the hour was Franciscan culture. Today, the signs are still there in this world. What is the sign today we are having? The global multidimensional poverty index, you know, in 2020, this year, across the 107 uh, developing countries, they found out 1.3 billion people, that is 22% of the whole world, lives in multidimensional poverty. There may be multidimensional, means maybe economic poverty, social poverty, structural poverty, uh, cultural poverty, religious poverty, uh, majority, minority, all this. In every level, we'll find this kind of uh, discrimination, giving out and uh, putting down somebody as uh, unwanted people. In India, you'll find that every third person is below poverty. There are we. We have professed to be for the poor, to be with the poor, to be of the poor, which is called Franciscanism. So, it is unfortunate that we demand individual and collective comfort even today. Poshimla is returning back to the source. So therefore, it's a wonderful day to go back into the mind of Francis, to go back to the mind of uh, St. Clair and enter into their, our forefathers, our mother and father, to enter into the spirituality. Most of the Franciscans, we all have the tendency to forget the call of Pershing law and go back to Assisi, stay there comfortably with all the uh, paraphernalia, with all whims and fancies. When Francis left Assisi, he never stayed back one day in Assisi. He said once and for all goodbye, both mentally and physically. He used to go for work and come back, never stay overnight there. He and his brothers lived as the counter witness to the Assisian mentality. They longed to come back to Porshinkla because Porshinkla, where there was a mind, heart, everything was there. Above all, the brotherhood was there. So our temptation today, we have the hi-fi institutions to cater to the rich and become the babysitters of the elite. Well, the target group where all of Franciscan Congress, we have a target group the gospel poverty and the poor. These are the most of the charism of our congregations. So Franciscans have the similar uh, thing that is our target group. Uh, they are, uh, they, they, the target groups, many places still stay outside of our mission. In the recent 10 years will find most of our focus has been city-based, comfort-based. There's no time. Uh, besides, another thing is in our own community and fraternity, there's no fraternal witness. There is no intimacy with the God, and sometimes, sometimes they definitely away from the lepers of our society. So this is a reminder for us today that in every one of us there is a call to be poor, call to be in solidarity with the poor, life and mission and vision. So this is a, a wonderful day to revive our Franciscan culture, a Franciscan calling. So therefore, another Franciscan life is possible. Let it begin now. So this is the main message. The temptations to stay glued to city life or comfortable position with individual recognition and pose, etc., is a really big temptation. Comfort becomes the curse of a Franciscan. Prophetic struggle to relive Persian culture is a clear sign of a living for Franciscan. So therefore, today, as we celebrate this Persian fest festival of the Persian may the Queen of Angels. May the spirituality of Poshinkla enlighten us and to go back to our roots. Dear friends, dear sisters and brothers, there's a tremendous power of holiness in every one of us. In every one of you, there's a call to holiness. There's a power to holiness. There are opportunities to revive our life. Today is a special day to reflect. 
and today we are also beginning the novena of uh, uh, for uh, the feast of saint clair today begins the marvelous day let's place ourselves at the feet of our brother our father francis and our mother holy clair and so we'll ask their grace to guide us in this particular mission thank you i have a small thing also from this talir capuchin motivational center uh, you can always subscribe to the total excellence that's a website in our youtube we'll be spending a lot of things you can uh, other services are like online mental recollection for august we have got taken this idea of uh, from sluggishness or from stagnancy how to enter into total excellence as the call of god requires and also we have a retreat for the jubilarians and we have got most motivational trainings to junior sisters so all these things are available you can always write to this particular email i am growing now at gmail.com i repeat i am growing now at gmail.com you can subscribe to this youtube channel you will get all those things thank you god bless you happy feast of the porshinkla our mother porshinkla a living witness to franciscan prophetism you want to be a living porshinkla yes May God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.